Okay, now we're going to consider reflection of a pulse or a wave, but we'll start with the pulse because it's easier. Okay, so we've got some pulse traveling along a string and for now we'll consider it's traveling towards a fixed end. So the string here isn't free to move. Well, when this pulse gets to this end here, the tension in the string is trying to pull this end upwards. So the string is applying an upwards force on this point here. Now, Newton's third law tells us that for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. So when the string tries to pull the support up, the support applies a downwards force on the string. And so as a result, when the pulse is reflected backwards, it's reflected back underneath the string like this. So when it's reflected back underneath, we say that it undergoes a phase change of pi radians or 180 degrees. So that's what happens when we, uh, reflect, when we have a pulse reflected off a fixed end. Now in the case where this end is free to move, there is no force pushing it downwards. So in that case, the reflected pulse comes back on the same side of the string. So here's our incident pulse and here's our reflected pulse. Now a little activity for you, there's a lit short video showing torsional waves travelling along some bars and I want you just to identify in which case the end is fixed and in which case the end is loose.